So, um, what is a methylome? <clears throat> M-E-T-H-Y-L-O-M-E, -E, methylome. Could it be the key to aging? Uh, <clears throat> this is an illustration out of a, a video I'll be doing soon. It comes right out of the U.S. Uh, Human Genome Project. It has, it has the timeline for the human genome. Uh, in 20, what? 2003, they, they ended the Human Genome Project. They finally sequenced the first human genome. Um, in 04, they first published it. Uh, the first chicken, rat, and dog genome. The GINA Act, uh, Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act. And this one that's circled right here, in 08, no, excuse me, 09, was the first human methylome. Don't worry about not being able to see it. The point there is the methylome is something that's real. It's important. And yes, if you look at uh, the science of aging, you go back to some of the other videos I've done. Walter Longo with um, uh, Mimicked Fasting, Near Barzillai with the TAME study, the Targeting Aging with Metformin, David Sinclair with NMN. Um, all of these are going after a similar thing. The, the human cell meta, metabolism, metabolic um, systems are shutting down slowly. We have the genetics, we have the genes, but something's shutting those genes down. Could it be the uh, methylome? What is the methylome? Is that like a big ugly creature? No, it's... Um, <clears throat> It's the methylation. Uh, methylation is actually a way of, uh, it's an, one of the major uh, types of epigenetics. Oh, what are epigenetics? Uh, epi meaning outside, genes. It's a way of controlling the way genes are expressed. Think of it like this. Um, <clears throat> you know, we've got three, what, three billion base pairs in the human genome. Uh, that's a lot of strands. It's 23 chromosomes. It, it, it's a lot of material if you were to stretch it out as a wire, but it's coiled up. And in fact, if you coil up a wire, you have spools. So think of methylation or epigenetics as ways of impacting the way that spooling and storage is set up. There's actually a, a very complicated and intricate way of taking those uh, tightly wound three billion base pair strands, unraveling them, at a, finding the specific place to unravel them, unraveling them, transcribing them into RNA, and that messenger RNA goes to the ribosomes and then is translated into proteins, which are the genes. So you go back to, again, uh, the aging science that we were talking about. Uh, metformin, NMN, um, uh, mimic fasting, they're all ways of amping up um, <clears throat> genes that are just not being transcribed so, uh, so well anymore. Genes like mTOR, mammalian uh, target of rapamycin, uh, CA, uh, AMPK, um, the uh, again, different uh, genes that are used for uh, enzymes in these metabolic pathways. Well, let's go back to the methylome. Again, you, um, what does methylome mean? Well, genome means all of the genes. Uh, the, so the human genome is all of the genetic material, all of the genes in the human uh, genetic uh, pathway. Biome is all of the, um, the biological material or microbiological living material, like the gut biome is the biological material, the bacteria in the gut. The methylome is all of the DNA methylation processes or methylation of the DNA. So <laughs> DNA is methylated usually on cytosine. You know, there are four base pairs, uh, C, G, and A, T, cytosine, guanine, uh, adenine, thymidine. Um, they are uh, 
uh, it's usually the cytosine that's methylated, and that impacts greatly how the DNA can be unwound. So let's get a little bit deeper, uh, or just look at a, a study. This one came out of, um, I bet you've all heard of this uh, uh, journal, right? Febs letters. Febs, F-E-B-S. It's, it's in the Elsevier uh, group, and it's entitled The DNA Methylome. And it was, uh, this is in Science Direct, volume 585, issue 13, uh, July 2011, pages 1994 and 2000. Uh, before we go too much further on that, let's go back to FEBS. What is FEBS? It's the, uh, the Federation of the European uh, Biochemical Societies, FEBS. Uh, so they're advancing molecular life sciences. This is a journal, uh, a peer-reviewed journal. Uh, lots of very good information. Hard, again, hard molecular science type of stuff. A lot of genetics in there. And so this article in 2011 described what was known at that point about the methylome. As you remember, um, you go to uh, humangenome.project.gov, you, you can find this and find that the human gene uh, methylome was first described and discovered in 2009. So this is a description after the, um, after the discovery had been created. I'm just going to go through a little bit more about this article in FEBS. It's a long article. It's, uh, I don't know if you want to try to wade through all of it, but it's got some really interesting stuff in it. So even the first part is, is a good uh, general thing to read. Methylation of cytosines is a pervasive feature of eukaryotic genomes. Eukaryotic, uh, that means cells like ours, most big plant cells, animal cells. Uh, bacteria are not eukaryotes. They're what we call prokaryotes. Viruses are, are neither. They're even more primitive. But the advanced cells that have a cell nucleus in other words, all that DNA. So if you've got that large DNA mechanism, uh, methylation is a pervasive feature of these eukaryotic genomes. And it's an important epigenetic layer that is fundamental for cellular di differentiation processes. So <clears throat> you also go back to your um, embryology and you remember that you know, originally the cells that make up my eye and my nose all came from just a couple of different cells. But I can't take nose cells at this point or skin cells and recreate eye cells. And why is that? It's because the DNA has been permanently changed in these cells that are differentiated. That is a, uh, uh, that is a key function of the methylome, this methylation process of DNA. Um, <clears throat> so it's an important uh, epigenetic layer that's fundamental for cellular differentiation processes and control of transcriptional potential DNA, DNA methylation patterns can be inherited and influenced by environment, diet, and aging. In distribution of disease. So, I mean, this, it, it's interesting how this ties in so many things. We've had so much of what we do in terms of managing our health is with our diet, with exercise, and gosh, how much of, as we've talked so many times, we think the diabetes epidemic, the insulin resistance, metabolic uh, disease epidemic is due to obesity, Yes, somewhat, but probably, and obviously those two Im are impacted by diet and exercise, but even more so by um, uh, aging. So d complete DNA methylomes for several species, organisms are now available, helping clarify the, evol uh, the evolutionary story and epigenetic mark and its uh, distribution. So... <clears throat> 
Uh, please, if you're a if you're a um, creationist, don't get hooked into this term evolution. Uh, that's for a different video. I'm actually I'm not even going to get into my belief systems, but it's. Uh, uh, <clears throat> that is a very interesting um, topic for a different video. So again, you look at aging, 9P21, uh, diabetes, Walter Longo, fasting, mimicking, cyclic AMP, metformin, uh, near Barzillai, again, David Sinclair. All of this work, uh, is this the key to uh, longevity? Now, I'm going to zip through, again, huge article. We're getting long on time already. I'm going to zip through a couple of other points. There are multiple methods uh, for uh, delineating the methylome. Uh, I pulled up one company. It's called Illumina, I-L-L-M-E-U-M-I-N-A, -L -L Illumina. And you go through the Illumina site. It's very interesting. They're one of those companies that makes the cartridges for PCR, polymer, polymerase chain reaction, and other ways of looking at DNA. Uh, so there's a lot of science going on in this area right now. Um, <clears throat> for those of you that are still hanging in there, I'll cover a, a couple of other quick points. There are specific types of methylation. Um, there are... Uh, <clears throat> Establishment and maintenance of methylation patterns. Again, this is seen with different species, with aging patterns, uh, environmental issues, as I said before, like diet and, um, and exercise. So, uh, well, I, I'll just do a quick mention on evolution. So basically they can watch the changes in um, in certain species based on uh, some, of, some of the changes in methylation. So actually there may be changes in the DNA itself. Sometimes there's just change in methylation patterns. Uh, my daughter did some research on a certain type of fungus associated with trees. Um, here's some of the uh, literature around and some of the science around um, the methylation patterns for those species. Uh, very interesting topic. Um, there's also, believe it or not, I'm, you know, I mentioned earlier on that there's cytosine guanine is you, the usual form of methylation. There's also methylation of non-cytosine guanine based pairs. Uh, other areas, methylation of regulatory elements. Um, uh, again, I for those of you that have lasted this long, I certainly appreciate your attention, your interest, um, and give me your comments. Tell me what you, uh, what you know, what you think about the methylome. Thank you.